What's going on everybody? Senpai back again and this is an impromptu video. I know I was supposed to stream today and I decided not to. Um, I just didn't feel up to it. I've been having really bad back spasms since I got off of work. But what I decided to do, because I have been being messaged by everybody and their dog, and this video is mostly for my subscriber, Wyland, um, which ends up texting me when he has issues with his Kaizo spray booth. And I think I have managed to figure out and fix some of the problems. Not that there's anything like really, really wrong with the spray booth, but um, there are some things that could be improved. First and foremost, let's take an overhead look, you know, the guts itself. All right, you're gonna have to excuse the mess because I have been busy working on the real grade high new. So that's where we are uh, with this. And do I, can I get a little more light over here? All right, change my lighting setting a little bit so that you guys can see. So one of the issues that I've been having is the basket that was in here was not allowing enough water to flow into this area or at least that's what i ended up thinking because there there's a plate that goes in here there was a plate that goes slides into this slot right here and there's just a little gap at the bottom and then there's a little piece of silicone this is a little uh, advice to uh kaizo so this plate and a lot of the other plates you put you put a plastic coating on the front and the back side the problem with that is it started peeling off of the back side of this where there was the silicone gaskets for on here and when it peeled off, they went with it. So I would recommend peeling those off and then putting on the silicone gaskets. Otherwise, they just turn into trash. So that would be a suggestion with that. So I will show you this here in a second. So not enough water was getting to the pump that sits right here. So it was pumping more water than was flowing back to it. So that's where you end up getting sputtering and stuff. Now, I was also noticing uh, if I do this, you can see the black from all the black primer and stuff I've been spraying. So I noticed that there was overspray, which had to be coming from here, from the filters uh, on the backside of the glass and on things. And when I took everything apart, like this whole backside was slimy with just like this with paint residue. So I was like, what the hell? So I, I'm still in the process of getting this all cleaned up. I've kind of scrubbed it down. I'm not overly worried about it. So what I found is they have these two screws here for this filter, which is fine. It holds down the center section but these edges come up and so much uh, air and stuff comes up and around these outer edges that that's where you were getting your leaks. Cause just like this, it's all over this plastic and then on the backside of the glass. So what I did was I took some machine screws and I ended up drilling holes, drill holes. Don't just try and put the screws in um, right next to these. And then I slightly snugged them down uh, because there is a foam under backing underneath this edge and now it's nice and secure and there's no daylight. There's no anything around these. So that should prevent that problem. Now, what I ended up doing with this is I tried to, I wanted to drill some holes, but because of that plastic that was on here and then the lacquer hitting this plate actually made it kind of fragile. So I just took it to the bandsaw and I just cut out this notch. You can kind of see right here where I ended up trying to drill it and it just ended up cracking along here. I ended up gluing it, fixing it. I took a piece of brass mesh. You can pick this up at any hardware store. I would probably do stainless steel, but what I had on hand was brass. So this will actually end up being easier than when we had the basket in. So when you go to clean it, you can literally, it goes all the way down to the bottom. It'll catch the debris. It lets plenty of airflow through that because now it's got a big gap to the filter and then up and out. And you can just pull this out, rinse it off, and then put it back in. Guys, one little tidbit that I forgot to mention in here is if you're overly concerned about any paint flow getting past the, the filter that we ended up uh, changing on here, you can always go to the 99 cent store. Ah, the water's leaking out. Uh, you can go to like the 99 cent store. If you're married, your wife has probably 18 pair of these in a drawer somewhere that she never wears for you. Uh, just old nylons. Um, and you can literally, we used to do this in the optical thing in the water pumps for pumping the uh, slurry and stuff. Just slip one of those over the filter part itself and you know, pull it off, change it, throw it away, replace it uh, every once in a while. That will work perfectly fine for filtering out your water as well. And you'll get plenty of flow through that. Technically you could do that and get away with this barrier and get rid of this barrier altogether. 
Um, I will leave that up to you guys, but that is also an option. Yeah, one of the things I was noticing, like I said, was the with the original mesh basket, what would end up happening is it would end up in the in this area here would end up filling up and then over spilling into this area. So I'm like, what the hell? So I did a couple experiments. I put water poured water into the mesh basket and there was not enough flow through out of it um, to make up for the volume coming into it. So yeah, there's that. Um, I almost wish there was a volume control on the pump itself. Maybe the pump is a little too rambunctious. I do like the pump though. Like it was easy to take out. Um, in fact, so the pump is nice and big. Um, I had really no issues with it. And you can see where like debris got on top of the water and then on the pump. But this pump is pretty big. So what ends up happening is if the water level gets down into here, like you don't have enough water in there or it's not flowing through here fast enough, then you start getting, getting splashback, bubbles, frothing, all kinds of stuff. So ultimately you want to do the 1.1 liters that ends up take, uh, fitting into here. But I think I fixed that issue with that. Uh, it seems to be working very well. And then to take out the pump, it's really simple. The hose plugs right into here. It just unscrews. And then this is the power cable. Like it just two, uh, two prong. Uh, it only goes in one way. You plug it in, tighten it down, and you're good to go. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot more involved to get out that pump, but no. And that's another reason that I had a feeling that I wasn't getting enough um, water and I was getting uh, not enough seal on these is the fan blades on the, uh, on the unit itself have a lot of... I, you couldn't see the black because black on black, but since I started spraying the red, I can see the red residue on the fan blades. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully this addresses that issue. Um, if not, we're going to have to check the seal of where the glass comes down and ends up sealing up. Um, but I think, I think that this has fixed the issue. I ran a couple tests on it, seemed to work fine. And, uh, we're going to go from there. I hope you guys, uh, find some use out of this. And as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Senpai out.